today we are going to discuss about plane scale and this is the first video of the plane scale so welcome to my youtube channel mechanical engineering management and in this video we are going to discuss these two questions first questions having weightage of 3 marks and second question having weightage of 3 marks first question is theoretical question and second one is the drawing of the plane scale so let's start with the theoretical concept of the rf you know that metric measurements having different units and you know that the relation of these metric units like 10 millimeter is equal to 1 centimeter then 10 centimeter is equal to 1 decimeter then 10 decimeter is equal to 1 meter next 10 meter is equal to 1 decameter next 10 decameter is equal to 1 hectometer and next 10 hectometer is equal to 1 kilometer and many other relations are also there but according to our syllabus we are going to focus up to here only and that you have to remember all this relation so in the better way you can remember in this sequence millimeter then centimeter then decimeter then meter then decameter then hectometer then kilometer so it is in ascending order actually multiplied by 10 so it is like that if you multiply millimeter with 10 then you will get centimeter similarly if you multiply 10 with centimeter then you will get decimeter so it is 10 times increase in this order so you have to remember this one now let's start with the question number one what do you mean by rf so rf that means representative fraction it is the ratio of the length of the drawing to the actual length of the object so mathematically you can say rf is equal to drawing size upon actual size for example if a line of length 1 meter is represented on a sheet by a line of length 10 meter then you can say rf is equal to drawing size so here it is written a line of length 1 meter so 1 meter is the actual length of the line is represented on a sheet that means drawing by 10 mm so this is the drawing size so you can say 10 mm is the drawing size upon actual size means 1 meter so if you convert meter into mm then you know that 1 meter is equal to 1000 mm so here this 00, 0 will be cancelled this mm mm will be cancelled and so that it is 1 upon 100 so this is rf so you can say it is 1 is to 100 here look at this rf carefully it is less than 1 so based on that rf you can conclude if rf is less than 1 then you can say it is reduced scale so this is the example of the reduced scale 1 is to 100 or more example of the reduced scale like 1 is to 1000 1 is to 2 1 is to 3 etc next if rf is greater than 1 then you can say it is enlarged scale like 100 is to 1 2 is to 1 etc if rf is equal to 1 then you can say it is full scale that means 1 is to 1 that means drawing size is exactly equal to the actual size of the object so this is brief introduction about the representative fraction and now let's start with the second question construct a plane scale with rf is equal to 1 by 5 so rf is given to you to show decimeters and centimeters the scale should be long enough to measure 1 meter show the length of 7.3 decimeter and 8.6 decimeter on the scale so once again you have to remember this very important relation of the different units now here rf is given to you so as we know that rf is equal to drawing size upon actual size so if you put the value over here then rf is equal to 1 by 5 is equal to drawing size 
that is not given to you but we have to find the drawing size for our drawing so that is lod that means length of drawing upon actual size and actual size is given to you once again see carefully the scale should be long enough to measure one meter that means it is the maximum actual size of the object so you can see it is one meter so if you simplify this one then you will get length of drawing is equal to 1 by 5 into 1 meter so if you simplify 1 by 5 then it will be 0 0.2 meter as it is and once again you know that 1 meter is equal to 10 raised to 3 mm so length of drawing is equal to 0 0.2 into 10 raised to 3 that means you can say 200 mm here you can see if you want to convert this millimeter into centimeter then it should be divided by 10 so this is the length of drawing of your plane scale so now i can start the plane scale with length of drawing is equal to 20 centimeter so from here to here this is 20 centimeter so draw the horizontal line and this is your length of drawing that means lod so i am going to write over here this is length of drawing 20 centimeter and you know that these both are the extension line and this one is the dimension line now next draw the vertical line that is equal to one centimeter and then complete the rectangle now here it is written the scale should be long enough to measure one meter that means you have to divide the scale into the 10 equal division and start with the second point with zero then one two three four five six seven eight nine so try to understand the scale should be long enough to measure one meter that means if each division represent as one decimeter then here you can see 10 division that means 10 decimeters and you know that 10 decimeter that means one meter and so that this scale is long enough to measure one meter so you have to decide that how many divisions of these scales are required but keep in mind that always keep the first division and start from the second point with zero and so on from left to right side now draw the vertical line passing through all the points and you can do with the help of the roller scale now you know that these all divisions represent as one decimeter so i can write over here this represent as decimeter now divide this first division into 10 equal part always for the plane scale so you can say here it is 0 so i can say 1 2 3 4 5 6 but space is not there so i can write only 5 and then 10 now you know that this is actually the 10 division of one decimeter so each division represent as centimeter because of you know that if decimeter is divided by 10 then you will get centimeter so that each division represent as centimeter so i have written over here so this is your scale so i am going to give the colorful look but this is not required in the examination so first task we have completed construct a plane scale so this is the plane scale now show the length of 7.3 decimeter that means seven decimeter and three centimeter here you can see decimeter and centimeter so look at once again seven decimeter and three centimeter so here this is decimeter so seven decimeter and three centimeter so this distance represent as 7.3 decimeter similarly now you can imagine 8.6 decimeter on this scale so 8 decimeter and 6 centimeter so here this is the 8 decimeter 
and 6 centimeter. So this distance is 8.6 decimeter. So this is your next answer. So if you want to see more engineering videos, then subscribe my YouTube channel and go to playlist. Thanks my dear friends. Press the like button to appreciate this video.